Hello and welcome to this mod review for the John Day 6R series by Forbidden Mods. So I'll get this bit out of the way right at the beginning. Currently this is only available on PC from Forbidden Mods own website. Whether they have plans on moving across the console, I don't know. But there are several of the mods available on there currently which are now out through the mod hub. The Fence 700 is one of theirs which was released in the past week which is the one I've been using on many series since it first came out a few months back. So on with these tractors then. So we've got a few configurations in front of us here. Obviously the one which is probably standing out the most to you is the black one at the end which we'll get to. So we've got 6250R and 6230R here. Both front linkage variations. We've got this one on Michelin wide tires with weights. and this one on Mitas white tires with weights. Both have a GPS fitted. Unfortunately it has not added a screen to the cab. So we can presume it comes through the armrest if we're going to do it that way. You have to work with that assumption. We have a chrome John Deere shield on the exhaust. Which I have to admit does look better than what some of them have had on them when we selected chrome. I'm guessing the one which has drawn your attention the most is this one. So this is one of the colour options available. It's forestry spec, so I'll keep you forest boys happy. It's got the forestry service logo on it. Bear in mind I believe they're German so it's understandable. Unfortunately the engine is still green beneath but uh, at least the outer body work is black. Minor detail that is, just you go round it through the mesh, you can see the green of the engine. Everything else has been recoloured. Okay. And that one's on standard trolley bulk tires as they come. No other options on there. We have got the standard in game one over here as comparison. So it's just a modified version of this. But there's a couple of other bits up its sleeve yet. There are some more wheel and tire choices we'll go through in the shop. There are some other colour choices we'll go through in the shop. Including bling up my tractor. Which uh, I'll get to. So let's have a look at these tractors. So we shouldn't need to worry too much about faulty lights and that sort of thing. Be seeing as though these are modified in-game tractors. Everything should work on these. So head inside, all as it should be, the new stall joystick. Doesn't sound unusual so far, does it? Till we just start moving it. So they've got custom sounds on them. We'll drive the in-game one so we can hear the difference. So check the dynamic hose compatibility of these. Make sure nothing's gone wrong doing the conversions. Which all looks good. So we know there is a pack out there which has had a few issues with dynamic hoses. Sounds a bit less like a strangled hairdryer than the in-game one. So we've got the plough here as per usual. And the front weight buried in the grass by the looks of it. Field. See what it sounds like in work. It's 
a big difference in sound there. Big difference in sound there to the standard in game one. It really is. Giants take note. This is how you make an in game track to sound better. first start it up it sounds like it's just going to be the standard in-game sounds but then when you start driving it you can really hear the difference with it. Slowly getting this field played on testing. Pedals and work as they should do on it. It's not very often there's a bad one escapes through FPM's testing. Sanding tractors, nice looks to them with the advanced wheel options. The only bit which I find slightly annoying as per usual is when they put number plates on them, which I know is no major issue because they can usually be altered, removed, etc., to suit our requirements. In a couple of minutes. Now compare this with the in-game one, sound-wise. It's the same start sound, but that's about where it ends. The FBM one certainly has the edge on sound. So let's take a look in the shop of these tractors. So they're all the same inside, so we don't need to look in the other two. It's under medium tractors. So there's the in-game one and there's this one. So colour options, green and yellow. Metal rims, black rims, orange rims, and bling up my tractor rims. So we've got green, black, communal, and bling up my tractor gold. Oh, something slightly different there. resist making the obvious comment so wheel and tire options trelly borg standard wide twin rear twin wheel weights wide and weights narrow twins and back to standard michelin standard wheel weights wide and weights rear twin twins all round narrow tires rear narrow twins all round narrow twins wide and different style of bracket in the middle there standard and weights and standard Mitas 
standard wheel lights, wide wide and white, the other style of white, wide and white, and that style and back to standard, and back to trailer box. There's no communal tar option in this. Bit of a shame that one, given that the tractor comes as a forestry option, in my opinion. It'd be nice if you could have to the um, knock-in tires when you got a forestry option and the communal colour scheme for it. So we have in this design box chrome exhaust there, horns on top, horn and chrome, warning signs, warnings and chrome, horn and warnings, all extras, and all extras with little decals on the side there. We have a star fire option. Forest option with the forestry decal on there. Yes and no to GPS as per normal. We have 6230R, 6250R and 6250R plus being a chipped one which has that um, galloping goat, I mean dare logo on the side of the bonnet. Which, um, yeah, no comment. To personal taste that one. <clears throat> so I can imagine why it's been done. Because it's not a viable track, they've removed John Deere off the side and put the John Deere logo in its place. Not to my taste that one, but someone might like it there. Then we've just got a yes or no to front load and that's the John Deere attacher in there. So there are all our options for this tractor. <clears throat> so I'll put a link in the description to them on the FBM website. As I'm in no doubt that's where they've originated from given that's tested by them and by one of their team members. So for now that's where we'll leave this video. So I'll say thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you again in the next one. Goodbye for now.